this is another a test that you'll have to do. You have the instructions for this. This is a PDF that will be supplied. There's the fonts you can kind of use your own sizes. You can work out from this. I'll tell you the sizes. It doesn't have to be exact, but get it as close as you can, as much as, as close as you can. You will be supplied the text and the images. So that's what you'll be doing in InDesign. So what we're going to do is start from scratch. So we want file. So new document. So a new document, okay, and from this one, we know we're going to do five pages because we want a double page spread. We want facing pages. The size is 200. Just tab through this by 200. I know it's three columns. There's five mil gutter between each column. We know that the margins are 10, okay, all the way around. So I, and then I unlink this thing, and with the outside, the inside, I want this one to be 20. Okay, so then there's bleed for the picture, which is three. Okay, so that's what you've got. 200 by 200, three, five. All those are 10, except for the inside. I'll explain all this when we go. And the bleed is three. So go OK, and that'll give you your double page spread. So if I come right down in size, you can see. We ignore the cover for now. So this one, we want two and three. This is how we're going to work. So we have got all our file, all our images are supplied our text is supplied so click on the T draw a text box what I tend to do is just to place all the text into that so it's file place okay that tie text yours will be called and just go open and that will automatically put it into there a good thing to do is to select all that text which is command A get the right size and fonts that you want right there now so we might do this one say 9 on 11 point letting okay so 9 11 it's going to be slightly different font, but just for now, we're going to do Calibri. Okay, so that's the text. It's all going to go into this. Some things will type, but the bulk of it, that's what it is. Okay, um, next one. So we want to start to build this now. So pretty much just go through. The first one is just what a text box, and that's going to say the word Thailand. I know for a fact that that one is 187 point size, 187. And that's the Calibri Bold. Okay, so that's great. So there's your heading. Drag your box out. We're off. Then the bulk of the text, the point of this exercise is all this text is going to run across boxes. So what we're going to do is put this box here. We can see we're lining it up here with your columns that you've already done. So this first one, we're going to be linking all these boxes together, which is a really great way to work. Okay, so you've got two in there. This one, we click on the little red thing here, click on this guy, and come across, and there's going to be another box there. And we'll, we'll, we'll do the second pages of these either in this exercise or I'll make another video, but you'll go from there. So at the moment, as you can see, this text, if I select that, runs across the two different, all the different columns. Okay, so back up. We're going to start to format some of this. We're going to click in there and get rid of these double returns, which we don't want. Okay. Thai cuisines are heading, so there's a few little things we can format now. That's just going to be that and bold. I just know that based on our thing. Right, so the next thing we're going to do, we've also got a quote over here. So if I just draw a text box in this column here, and that one is, I'm just going to type this one. Okay, so that will be Calibri as well. It's all the same font. You can use any one you want. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, we'll center that guy. So that looks pretty much, that's around about right. Hyphenation off. So all I've done is drawn a text box, typed it in, and that's going to sit there. Um, right, so we'll start to format this text now. It looks good. What we want to do, this one, under up over here you can see over here is columns okay so we want you can see what I'm going to do here is go um, so two columns okay and the gap between the column is going to be five so that's great so that's just formatted that next thing we're going to do while we're doing columns the first paragraph so from there down to there is going to be bold italic so with our A so Calibri bold italic this is clever up here so we go back into paragraph column so this one I've got my selection inside of that column I'm going to click next to here this is 
okay span columns so we want to span two and you can see it's in a two column box but it will span across two columns while I'm at it what I might do is select all of my text go to the paragraph formatting tool and just put some paragraph space in it okay so this one this one here which is space after and just put maybe 1.5 space in there very important okay so it's starting to look a little bit like it should I'm working with guides on if I can hide guides and it's starting to look quite good okay next thing we've got a big picture that goes here very very simple file place navigate through find your picture and my that is this one okay so just go open and draw the box as to where it's going to go as long as you're close you can always edit the box so the box has gone in okay so we want to make this box smaller really straightforward so we're going to line the box up to you can see it's all just being lined up to the guides that's our red is the bleed how it bleeds off the page so this selection tool moves the whole box around as you'll know by now and the direct selections tool will move the picture inside of the box so that looks good okay the Thailand's got a color on it they might give you a specific color but what we want to do is just select all these texts use the eyedropper and just click a bit of the tiger and that'll change that color okay so if I hit guides it's starting to look like it should right next one we want to put an A in here okay oh there's a drop capital so we're going to come into this bit here and if you've got this is your first paragraph of text here with the text tool anywhere in this column this works up until the paragraph return here so as long as your cursor is in that column this is another thing in the paragraph formatting controls here you can see where it says there drop cap number of lines so I want one two and you can see that so if I just did however many lines you want but in this case we just want three okay so that gives you a drop you could have done how many characters as well okay so this one how many characters you want but we just want the first initial one all good all right next thing we're going to do in this first double page split now we want an a here which has got a picture in it this is just a little trick you can do just draw a text box we just want the letter a if you can make that a as big as you can just for now so if we make that 100 okay it's just it's a, a big a in a box we want to put a picture inside this a so we want to make it a font that is quite bold so impact horrible font but for this it works well okay so we've just got a text inside of a box so with the selection tool selected under type up here create outlines and what that will do that will turn that into a shape so that is now an editable shape okay so we can now scale this a to what we want so hold shift down scale him up okay so that a is going to be sit somewhere like that okay that's a picture box now so we've drawn a font converted to outlines and we're going to place a picture inside of it so file place same thing navigate through get your picture this is just the pattern this one so go open and that will just automatically put your picture inside there it's coming quite big another tool you can use up here is the fitting tool fit content proportionally fit content to frame so if we do fit content proportionally up here that'll fit it down and then you can just scale it around to make it look where it is so that's got your pattern inside of that this has got a text wrap around this a we can squash this a we can make it whatever size we want so what we want to do is put text wrap around it so this is text wrap here but if you cannot find it it's under window text wrap straightforward this one okay that's no text wrap that's text wrap around the whole shape as you can see it's gone the whole shape and that's around the box sorry and that's around the shape so we're going to click on this shape and this is the amount of text wrap so you watch here what it does so we do that and it will just push it out and that looks wonderful okay so that's going to sit somewhere like that and as you move that that'll just push the text away from wherever it is okay so this one so that there is your first double page spread next thing we want to do we want to put a small picture over here another trick we want to this next double page spread which we'll do later on there's going to have text a uh, two columns of text over here so what we want to do there's still this little red box indicate that there's more text in here so we're going to click on that little red box and then just continue to draw another two columns over here and that will run the text into there and we know how to do this from before so two columns five of the gap so pretty much where this text now runs from there all the way across to here which is a really great way to work 
Another trick here, we've got after the word flying, I want to start Thai cuisine in the next page. So over here, we don't want to do returns to run the text down. What we want to do is enter on the bottom right hand corner of your keyboard. There's an enter key or function if you've got a laptop without a control panel. Function enter return, that'll push everything from there down to the next column. Okay, so we're going to start afresh here with a new page here. So the next one, all we want to do now is we want to embed a little picture inside of this little area here. Okay, this is really another way. So we hit a return here. Another good way to work under type, show hidden characters. It shows you all the returns. They don't print, but it's really good to know where things are. So this one, we just want to place a little box in here with a picture. So what we want to do here, so here, this nine, we want to make the leading auto. So when we place a picture in there, it doesn't, it keeps the same size as the depth of the picture. And if I now, I want a picture that's going to go into there. So if I say file place, okay, so we get, what picture are we going to put in here? This one, okay, so just go open. I'm just going to place this picture anywhere for now, okay. Get the picture the right width as to what I want to do. Okay, so it's quite a narrow picture. It's all just using the different selection tools. Okay, so this is the trick now. I've got that, that's just a picture on its own in a floating box. So if I put that there, okay, that would work. But if I, what I want to do, I want to embed it into the box. So if I go edit cut, I cut that picture, put my cursor in here where I want it to go. Yeah. And then go edit paste. What that will do, and then I've got to select the picture like I did before and make this auto letting. Okay. And so now if I put a return in there, the picture will come down with it. Okay. So if any of these words run on, or if I get rid of this line, for example, the picture will move up with it. If I want some picture, some space either side of that picture with your text tool, if you put your cursor in here and use your paragraph formatting, I can put some space after. Okay. If I put my cursor here, I can use space before and put some space before and that will start to look. So if I hit my hide guides or preview, you can see that it's starting to look like it should. Okay, so I'll do the second part of this double page spread following this one. Thank you.